and even not necessarily you, but maybe including you, a cringeworthy moment or a date where you're just like, oh, that moment. I mean, <laughs> the it was most powerful and most cringeworthy was probably <laughs> when I um, just told off Luke P and told him what all went down in a windmill that one time or how many, four that times, whatever. Awesome. <laughs> but um, I just... I did not play for a camera or for a TV. Like, that was my real life. And so did I ever really want everybody to know what happened in my sex life during this time on this? No. But in that moment, I wanted to piss off Luke B and get him to get in the freaking van. And so I said what I knew he said he didn't want me to do, and that was to have sexual relations with anybody. So, okay, well, you won't get in the van. Well, here's your sign, dude. Now you can leave. And but I I stood up on my couch and clapped, by the way. But go ahead. (laughs) But then once I saw, I was like, okay, that's not going to, like, people aren't going to say that. And they're like, that was a little much. That was a lot. It was great. We're proud of you. But that was a lot. So I was like, okay, no way. That's People are going to know that. But then once uh, it was for everyone to know, I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do? I'm like, oh, I hope Peter's okay with this. Uh the yeah, it was really awesome, but also terrifying to be so honest in a moment of very heated, passionate uh, conversation uh, to allude to some uh, I love uh, some sentiments some I had with, an- <laughs> with another man. Yeah, I mean, 